Ian Torchetti here with another hot seat, and the following interview is scheduled for one fall <laughs> with a 60 minute time limit. The man in the hot seat this evening. He is very well acclaimed. He has collected many pelts, but there are still some that are on the run, and he will not stop until he gets them all like some twisted Pokemon trainer. Ladies and gentlemen, this man is not here for just gold. This man is not here just to get a name out there. This man is here to rid the world of the monsters that exist. That is right. We have the pro wrestling monster hunter, Matthew Palmer. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ian. That's very nice of you. Yes, yes. I do want to rid the world of pro wrestling monsters. I do think it's unfair that these beings can call forth lightning, yet I have to go and learn how to do headlock takeovers and hip tosses. I think that's absurd. Well, I mean, have you ever wrestled a bear? Hey, everyone, I'm Matt. (laughs) You ever wrestled a bear? I mean, they they have claws. Do you have claws? Uh, No, no. That also seems unfair as well. I don't want to... (laughs) I don't think the bear should be in there either. It's just flat out cheating. Yeah. Very true, very true. So, what brought on this this new cause for you? Like uh, others, others who might know you from down the road back in the day, you know, you apparently came off as just another pretty boy. However, you thankfully proved them wrong, and yet they're the ones doing commentary for national brands. It's it's weird. <laughs> Well, I mean, nothing I can do about that. I mean, audience wants what it wants. Uh, but yeah, I mean, going from like the centerfold male model stuff, and then I dabbled in like uh, a serial killer <laughs> thing, and then I did a coked out rock star. I did, you know, I mean, I've done multiple things, but during the the quarantine and the pandemic, because like I was just thinking, like we were watching a ton of uh, horror movies at home, but trying to like teach my wife how to like enjoy good movies instead of the cartoons she watches uh, and, hey uh, now <laughs> right i can only watch family guys so many times oh okay i i thought you were going after like fist of the north star or something like that we'd have we'd have words <laughs> oh no I, no i don't want to anger anymore uh zealot fans <laughs> six family guys an easy target i'll just go after them you know so like we were just watching we were just like watching like pumpkin head and all these other movies oh, and i was God. like you know what no one ever has like a character that's the guy who has to fight the monster like in wrestling like there's no guy whose main job is to fight kane why because he's cheating what are you talking about uh, he's immortal <laughs> so, like, that's cheating i gotta deal with injuries like he does it. That's BS and the stupid stuff like that. So yeah, that's that's how the that's how the gimmick came about. And uh, the voice is just me doing my best uh, Peter Laurie voice from old Halloween or not Halloween, old horror movies. So like, I'm I, see, I thought you were doing it. more of like an Ed Wood Jr. kind of thing, like the way Johnny Depp did in that Tim yeah, Burton it, film. It does. It does keep like going into that. Like, <laughs> if I could somehow do Walter Matthau as Bela Lugosi, I would totally do it. But it keeps somehow drifting oh, into Johnny Depp. I would love for you to cut a <laughs> promo where you co- where you call someone a collection of expletives. I'm not but sure I'm what like, my audience it, it, range is these days, so I, d- I don't know where we're going. But it, if it happens, it happens. <laughs> oh, like uh, there there was a time when I was first coming up with this character, I was like more of like a John McClane type thing like i would come out just completely bloody and like barefoot and just like what happened to this guy backstage <laughs> before he even got to this match like but like no one was really going with it and but the second i put on the more victorian era van helsing ish kind of vibe little kids came out of the woodwork <laughs> i was like well i can't say anything fun <laughs> so i'm just gonna <laughs> Well, no, no. See that Get that's what that's when you go into like the Shakespearean diatribe. That's when you, that's when you throw that stuff out there. You know, call, calling if someone a moldy codpiece. Yeah. Oh, you call someone a moldy yeah, codpiece, like... and they'll just, oh, how dare you! I don't know what you said, <laughs> but how dare you! Oh, I know. There was there's like so many things that uh, I've learned recently just with uh, being acquainted with certain people who are on TV. 
that I was like, you can't say certain words. And like the words are like from the 1920s. It's not even like a bad word. It was like, what? <laughs> who uses that? I was like, yeah, that's still like not a lot. I don't know why. I don't know why. He's like, oh my God. So, so wait, if you called someone a hard boiled turtle slapper, they. <laughs> oh no, I oh, know you're cutting out. Damn you, internet. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm saying, like, so if you said something like hard-boiled turtle slapper, that would get you fined somewhere? <laughs> well, I don't know about fined as, like, as in, like, the, the company thing. is like, it would just be beeped out. Oh. You know what I mean? Like, you'd be like, really? They beeped that out? <laughs> like, oh, no. If James Stewart said that in It's a Wonderful Life, I could see some people fainting in the audience. So I'm like, I don't know about now. Oh, uh, uh, Clarence, Clarence, you gotta help me decapitate this son of a why, bitch. Why, 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 this guy's a jerk. Oh, oh, oh my God, I have five grand. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> well, uh, are, are you glad that actual gimmicks are coming back in wrestling as opposed to just, you know, dude A yes. in the neon tights versus dude B in the ripped jeans? <laughs> right. Well, I've been both of those guys and it never worked for me. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if there was an era. Uh, but, but like you got you got like the fun stuff, the crazy matches, the, the awesome wrestlers. But like that's uh, that can't be the entire three, four hour show. You got to have other stuff, too, to entertain the senses. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm glad that things have become that variety show kind of kind of the old carnival roots where yeah you had a strong man showcase what he was doing and then there would be arm wrestling and then there'd be oh this is the strongest lady in the world see see if she can body slam you fellas and you know stuff like that yeah yeah and like and the, the beauty of it is is like you don't have to forsake wrestling to do that i know a lot of people they're like oh there's a gimmick guy and then they go out there and they do kick and stomp and i don't really deliver I mean, break a sweat, but like that's not that's not this. This is a guy who has to go and wrestle your six foot ten monsters at your shows. Like, there's not going to be an easy night with this character. You're forced to be entertained with your, you know, just this silly character that can go into a serious, you know, fanatical mode, or this like lighthearted like children's story, <laughs> this superhero. Uh, fighting uh, these guys who are just massive. Like I'm, I'm, I'm scheduled to wrestle this guy named Savage King coming up, and this dude is—he looks like he's chiseled from stone, you know. So like this dude is gonna hurt me. This I, I, I've <laughs> I've looked him up before. Like he he lives up to that name. Some of these guys, you know, they he's they go with Blade or scary. something like that, and they just yeah. He yeah. He Savage King scary. sounds right. Savage King, yeah, perfect. Perfect. Like we're, the show's uh the show's wrestle rave. It's called Ghoul's Night Out, and it's like I love the title. Uh, right? Oh my god! Like I'm gonna start charging uh, quadruple for Halloween now. This is like the perfect gimmick for four weeks out of the year. The rest of the year I'll be broke, but it'll be great. <laughs> <laughs> that, that see that like, that's where that's where being like a horror host or something like that would come in handy. You probably have really got to come in uh, clutch around Christmas time with a really good video. <laughs> Like, you know the rules. This is for the adults. All the kids are at, watching the new Peanuts movie that they're remaking. <laughs> or whatever. I don't know. I'm 45. I don't care. Bullshit. I'm not 45. No, I'm just screwing around. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, what are your secrets, dude? I was getting gray at 18. Oh, my God. If, oh, if, I, if I was 45 and I, I moved the way I do after that many years of wrestling, oh, my God, I'd be a superhero in real life. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? Dude, just just give him uh, all the belts. Just give Dean Winchester all the belts. <laughs> oh my God. I gotta start pouring salt around the ring so these other bad guys will stop interfering. Oh, get yourself a Castiel. Matthew, right. I'm here to help. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? People would get up and leave, but other people would be like, yes. This is the way wrestling should go. I like this direction. <laughs> yes. <laughs> finally, finally, something good. Just, just, I get to see my wrist locks, my my Canadian destroyers, and an angel. <laughs> <laughs> you, you just find, yeah, you just finally good. give up. Pull up, pull up in the Mustang. Carry on, blaring out of it. <laughs> like, yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah, why not? I would do Buffy the Vampire Slayer Angel, but the damn kids these days don't know what I'm talking about, so I'll, I'll do it. Or they'll cancel you because it's connected to Joss Whedon. 
All right. Well, I didn't do anything. I, I know you did not. <laughs> <So, laughs> new subject. New subject. Yeah. <laughs> you know. You know what show I'm wrestling for on December fourth? Random Hill Love Wrestling. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> wrestling against remedy. All right, all right. We're yeah, back on track. I, I mean, back on track here. I mean, you you want to talk like a man made monster? I, I remember just having to ref that guy. God, I swear I lost. Right? Oh. I, I I I lost two years of my life just having to look him in the eye after checking him. <laughs> Did you find so I, anything? I've like never. Uh, <laughs> I, I've never wrestled the guy, and. I uh, just recently started uh, writing for a show uh, locally, and I have used them. Uh, so it was like Remedy versus Prince Adam and uh, Brixton Shaw. Oh, that and, must have been uh, a great Remedy match. just started just laying his hands on the guys, and I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. i got to wrestle him in like two months. It's like, it's like these guys are so big. He's just beating the hell out of these dudes. It's hilarious. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, my job. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, Fighting these damn monsters! <laughs> You're right, it does have that Edward Wood type vibe. Uh, not yeah, co- I'm, I'm not complaining though. Like if Vincent Price knew how to really fight, it would be you. You know what? Thank you, thank you. I've been watching the Tingler over and over to learn how to get guys in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, please tell me you have that as a move. Oh, he's locking in the tingler! Here it is! And my if they finishing, scream, you have uh, to let go. Move. <laughs> you have to let go. <laughs> Not cheers. That has to be very specific, though. <laughs> cheers don't work. It's only screams. <laughs> I, uh, my, my finisher is actually named Vincent Price's Revenge. I don't know why it's revenge. It just sounded right. Oh, man. <laughs> like, Vincent Price's Revenge. Like, what the heck is he talking about? <laughs> You can have the Peter Cushing pile driver. Oh yeah, it's oh yeah, yeah. Unless <laughs> you can get away with that one. <laughs> Sorry guys, you're gonna have to take this pile driver. It's for Peter Cushing. <laughs> <laughs> you got that one horror aficionado. Oh great! Oh fantastic! Finally, a wrestler just for me <laughs> and the other nine people in this country. <laughs> 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 Man, I gotta stop riffing. I'm over here. Oh. I'm over making fun of my new gimmick. <laughs> oh, and I, and already I can I can see someone doing fan art of, of your potential turn. Like, what would that be if if you were told to turn? Oh, would you be like dude, a crypt keeper type I, character? I have. I can't. I can't tell you. I can't tell you. I already got that, stuff planned, that, that's and fair. I, I that's hope fair. people are going to be super happy. That's. It's, fair. I think. I think it's going to be pretty fun, uh, and I'm hoping I can get. I can get a lot out of the Monster Hunter uh, before we, we see the next shift. But even if I do it tomorrow, I think people are going to have a blast. Oh, I bet. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm just, you know, I wish I could tell you. I, I'm kind no, of one no, of those keep, people that like... Keep, it, keep I have... it to yourself. Keep it to yourself. I won't. I won't. Okay, I won't. I won't. I won't. I mean, I mean spoiler alert there. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I won't, I won't say that. I won't say that. Yeah, no, no. I, I, don't, I don't want you to, to waste your opportunity. Okay. Like, right. like with with, sure with, the, gonna... <laughs> with this gimmick though, I mean, I'm sure you've had a few opportunities at some other unique matches, like you know, if oh. which I, I I don't get why more people don't know you, because like the moment they released Rotunda, and apparently he may or may not still be doing his most famous gimmick, like I immediately oh, thought, nice. oh god, those two. Oh, that would be hilarious. God, well, Not hilarious well, as in like, ha, 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 but it'd be like insane. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's <laughs> blow the internet up in, in one day. Right? I, oh, that would be fantastic. I would love that payday. Uh, <laughs> sorry, just kidding. just kidding. I would like to play it. But no, like if I got the chance to wrestle, uh, am I not allowed to say fiend? I'm just going to say fiend. Yeah. I don't want fiend. I'm just sorry. <laughs> I, um, like if I could, if I could do that wrestling rotunda, like the monster under this, that that's something that's like Harry Potterish to me. That's something you can do a lot of fun things with and still get a wrestling match that you'll enjoy. Oh, absolutely! Oh, man, now now you just now you're just giving me like, you know, brains over here. Thanks. 
But like, well, I mean, like, as, far, of... as far as matches I have had, I've wrestled a killer clown in which I drowned him in a river. Oh. And then uh, I wrestled, oh, yes, I, and then he returned. I didn't quite defeat the evil clown that was possessing the young man, Keegan. And so I had to go with my trusty assistant, Renfield, wrestle him, of course. The only way you can wrestle uh, a monster is to ha- go head on and try to chain wrestle him. <laughs> and so uh, we had an epic feud that he eventually murdered my assistant, Mr. Renfield. Don't worry, he uh, just appeared after I said a man's name uh, three times in a mirror. So I'm sure I can just summon him back. Okay, excellent. That's yes. good to know. So that's some of the matches I've had recently, and also um, casket matches are starting to become plenty around here. Oh, yeah, since certain mm-hmm. things have finally dissolved, and they're like, all right, fine. <laughs> yeah, speaking of eccentrics that and colorful matches that should be happening, you're dealing with Danhausen on the 30th? Yes. Oh. Yep, yep. Oh, yes. October 30th, the monster, yeah, the monster <laughs> Hunter versus Danhausen. That should, oh dear God. Let, let me tell you, let me tell you. Revolver is already my show. I am their first, third, and greatest champion they've ever had. Greatest scramble champion as well. So I'm already walking home, you know, to a standing ovation of however many people are going to be there. They're not there to see Moxley. They're, they're serious. You know, they're going to see Paul, you know. Yeah. But now they're going to see the epicness of the Monster Hunter wrestling the very evil, very nice Stan Houses. It's, so it's so you're saying you've insane. got a 75 chance of winning since you're going one-on-one. Yeah. That's right. Don't don't make me do math. Don't make, it's, it's, it's worse than Steiner's, and it's not as scary as Matt. <laughs> can't do it. Can't do it. <laughs> hey, you owe me 10 bucks. I snuck it in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they, well done. <laughs> they're like, they're, are you really going to try to sneak the math in? Of course. You know, if, if we're talking conflict, yeah, there'll be there will be math. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anytime there's a one-on-one scenario, just throw that in there. Oh, that's an easy bet to make. I'm gonna start making that bet on the road. <laughs> oh God. But um. Yeah, just your your evolution from from people looking at you saying, "Oh, he gets lost in the shuffle." To this has been impressive. Like, are are there any others that have caught your eye that you've seen within that same kind of whether you see yourself or or you at least see the story with them? Yeah, I mean, there's guys I can see. Uh, it's like, man, they're pulling off everything that you throw at them. You. They're just trying to find the one thing that catches your eye, the audience's eye. And it's like, man, if they could just find it. But, like, there's guys like Prince Adam in uh, San Antonio, Texas, and there's Greg James. Danhausen is already starting to blow up, but I remember when he was Donovan Danhausen, and it was like, man, I'm so happy with these talented wrestlers, people who have actually, like, wrestle and put their life at risk are getting a chance to entertain uh, audiences and catch their eyes now. It's wonderful. I hope I get more success just because I'm selfish. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it, but still, like, it is it is nice to see those stories as opposed to right place, right time kind of thing. Like, to know that, that someone's had hustle, which, I mean, the, the average wrestler has a level of hustle, obviously, otherwise you wouldn't be doing this. It's not like... Oh, of course. I mean, of it, course. It, as much as the stereotype and, and the myth is that, oh, if if you're 250, you can walk in somewhere and get booked. Like, well, people are a little smarter than that these days. Oh, like, well, I mean. Like, it, it's no I longer mean, Inoki works. versus Great Antonio. Like, you have to you have to have some level of skill. Right, right. Like, and people, people want to see a quality product. Like they don't want they don't want Game of Thrones, but it's a bunch of theater troupe actors. You know they want the best talent, and so like that's what it is. You got to have a basis in wrestling. You got to be a good wrestler. It's like you got to be like a good like a decent actor to be on like the best show ever. So like that's what they get now. That's what you get with Dan House. If you if he wants to bust out and do a, like some wrestling wrestling, he, it's it's incredible. Yeah, you know, like he he can he can do it all. 
just like I can do it all. And I'm finally getting to show that I came from a theater background before I was ever a wrestler, but I've been working on just trying to be a good wrestler and trying to tell nuanced stories that I can finally, you know, say like, okay, I got to tell enough silly uh, wrestling stories that now I can do something that I just felt like doing. I don't have to worry about anything. I can just do the stuff that pops in my head. You know, like I already have, like for during the during the pandemic uh, quarantine stuff, I thought of a character, Johnny Spaceballs, and I'm not going to go into much further than his name, but it was a wild and fun thing. And I was like, screw it. That, that, uh, that, that's that's got to be on a poster, even if it's a joke poster in the back of a promo. I, uh, yes. Oh, oh, absolutely! Like you hit the nail on the head. It's very much that Star Wars and New Hope uh, cover with Luke. Raising that hand to the, you know, the lightsaber to the sky and the scantily clad woman on his side. Like, this doesn't make any real sense, okay? <laughs> but, like, it's very much like that's the imagery for Johnny Spaceball. <laughs> and so, it's like, I'm going to do this one day. Or I'm going to have somebody in much better shape do it for me. <laughs> <laughs> when in doubt, legacy. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's right, baby. <laughs> so, I haven't, I haven't tried this lately, but have you check to see if you're fire pro famous no no i i think the last time i played fire pro was in like 2008 with the submission squad i don't think i maybe maybe it wasn't even that early 2010 no i i don't know i doubt i am no i, I mean with their with their latest game that came out they actually have you know the online creation suite so people can can actually create and then upload their characters and i've seen a lot of people I mean, some of them I'm, I'm not really surprised. Like when I saw when I saw Warhorse pop up, I was like, "All right, cool." And I saw like five copies. Oh yeah, of it. yeah, Warhorse is one of those guys. Yeah, oh yeah. But yeah, he pop he popped up. There. Danhausen popped up. As a matter of fact, I'm like, "Well, wait, okay, if those characters are popping up, Matthew's got to be up there somewhere." Well, I don't... Maybe, 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 and if not, maybe I'm just around the corner. You know, never know. A lot of this isn't. You know, it's it's good to get fame. You know what I mean? I felt the small level of it. Um, but like I really I really just enjoy entertaining. I like going to the show, I like wrestling as hard as I can and doing a good job. You know, I I like to have people feel all those crazy emotions that is live theater with you know, the difficulty of what we do in wrestling. That's a blast. So like yeah, it'd be it'd be cool to It'd be cool to be super famous, but like, I mean, I've been doing this for a long time. You know that. Oh yeah. Now it feels like I'm just enjoying myself. Yeah. Now I'm just like, what's funny? What's enjoyable? What can people get a kick out of? I'm not coasting because I'm getting old. Like I'm starting to get stronger. I'm starting to get better than I ever have. That old man string starting to kick in. It's just a little ahead of time. <laughs> and so, you have right? more that so, killer like, I'm, I'm having a blast. Yeah. Right? Like, now it's like, ah, what's going to happen? No one here is paying my bills that much. I'll just go ahead and I'll snap his leg. I'll snap. No, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> 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 kidding. Kidding. I don't think that in the ring. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, but, like, this is this is just fun now, man. It's just I get to I get to do what entertains me. Hopefully it entertains a bunch of other people as well. You know, and I don't have to worry about controversy. I don't have to worry about stupid gimmicks I don't you know that uh that other people wanted me to do like I get to do all my ideas on my own and it's like it's been awesome it's been awesome I can't wait to do more extravagant stuff when even more wrestling shows open up and get comfortable running regularly again oh dude it's so much fun I mean all else fails I really think there's a future in cinematic wrestling I mean we I mean, the Hardys sure. proved it. Their, uh, Lucha Underground, when it was running, you know, they they gave you a nice live show, but like the lead in and the and the epilogue, slightly scripted, but it worked. It made sense. It was. Yes, yeah, I agree. I agree. I I enjoyed Lucha Underground. I know a lot of people enjoyed Lucha Underground, uh, and so like, why why not add a little bit of that too? I mean, if if sixty year old Sting can have a cinematic match. And, you know, yeah. And it's like, imagine if these guys who, you know, thirty-year-old Darby Allen or something like that, is doing something with younger, young me, thirty-five-year-old uh, me, 
in the ring uh, in a cinematic match, we can probably do a bunch of crazy stuff rather than like just doing easy things and then editing and post or something like that. Like we can do actual crazy stuff. And be like, let's try it. And that gives me all the time in the world to relax after, you know, like nurse my nurse my wounds. Like that stuff can be a lot of fun. But anyway, anyway, like getting too getting too deep. No, oh, hey, it's, it's, like clear, clearly the wheels were turning, and and I like that. I, I like it when, when we actually, oh, yeah, I'll, when we I'll actually sit here think and start about rambling. it. No, but when yeah, we I'll actually sit, sit down rambling, and think about it, answer. that's what's, that's what's great when you're when you actually really like, oh wow, you know, when yeah. you don't just I mean, look no at it like a paycheck. Than, yeah, it, well, yeah, not looking at it like a paycheck is. It, super relieving um but that's also because i'm super fortunate because uh of my wife's job you know what i mean so it's just like well i don't have to murder myself for a show if i don't want to now i get to you know benefit from that so i guess there's kind of a level of piece of crap about it um i i would like to but, say like, for myself and the rest of the boys thank you for not like trying to just ride her coattails to get your bookings like you you let her do her thing oh. you do your thing and and you're still very respected because of it. Oh, thank you. That's something that we uh, that we always agreed on when we first started wrestling is that you do your thing, I'll do mine. We don't handle each other's bookings or anything like that. And it's, you know, worked out great for her. She could have dragged me. I'm kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, no, like, that's, it's, I mean, that's super relieving uh, to, like, be able to, like, talk to my wife and about different ideas and stuff like that and be like oh you should do this here or do this there and i don't have to like get her word to get help getting books <laughs> so like no not anymore but like back then at the time i was like i would just call them I was like oh yeah yeah and they had no clue i'd been with this person you know what i mean it was yeah. great i kept it secret for years because of that kind of stuff it was awesome well, you know, uh... people bother you all the time <laughs> Well, what is your opinion of women's wrestling? Some some have actually said that now there's this bizarre, chaotic pendulum shift. Like, some weeks on some shows, it's great, and then other weeks, you're like, wait, am, do, do I need to get a box of tissues for this? This is... Oh. And, and, then, uh, and then other weeks, it's like, uh, well, reality TV? I, I was hoping for a match. Well, I think it's I think it's just like we talked about earlier with like the different levels of entertainment. You know, you get a guys guys who can really wrestle and guys who have a little more extravagant uh, gimmicks, and then you got guys who are more down to earth. And uh, sex sells, uh, you know how it is yeah. in life. Uh, I mean, if you don't believe it, go and check people's Instagram photos. How many are just standing there looking like wrestlers, and how many are showing their ass cheeks? You know, they know what. They know what people click on. And, I mean, I don't know if people realize this or not, but certain tweets from certain people can cost a lot of money if they decide to charge. It's like, that's, you know, some people can make, like, I was, who the heck was, I'm not going to say who I was talking to, but it was, like, a, a sports player. And, like, they can make 15 grand off a tweet. You know? You know what I mean? God. It's all marketed. It's all, it's all marketed. And so, what do you think you're going to put on TV? Well, yeah, and that was just some, some uh, I don't want to say what sport uh, he's in, but like that was, he wasn't like the best guy. You know, I'm just like, oh my God. And so like just a simple tweet from somebody was like, hey, could you, could you post or like, like my, uh, my Instagram page and give me some followers? Like, yeah, 15 grand. He's like, oh my God, it's all, it's all business. It's all just, it's all just business. Anyway, so, like, take that and then be like, oh, what are you going to put on your TV? Well, people like wrestling, so why wouldn't you put this thing that, you know, somebody posted an hour ago and it's got 42,000 likes? So, you know what I mean? It's like it's, the company's just reflecting what society does. So, like, I don't know. As far as I take it, I'm tired of seeing my friend's butt cheeks all the time. <laughs> And I, I like the wrestling, <laughs> you know, I like it. I like the wrestling. I like watching wrestling, but Hey, I remember being 15 watching the attitude era and like, Oh, we were all guilty. You know, something. Yeah. I mean, let's not, let's not be hypocrites here. We knew, we knew the segments that we turned in on at our age. And let's just be thankful that now that we're our parents age, uh, they're not as risque 
you know what I mean? They're still, they're at least they're wrestling. They're getting to do actual basis of wrestling and decent quality work. Yeah. You know, with the extra on top. That's yeah. all I can really say anyway. What do you, where do you see the business going? And, and we'll say, we'll say short predictions you know, five years from now with everything that's going on. Cause you've got at least two, I, I don't want to call them indie promotions cause they, they've come a long way. Um, self-motivated groups that are, you know, you, you got game changer, you got, you got major league ring of honor is oh, in that yeah. wonderful, like gray area. Yeah. Like that, like they've had nationwide, they've had national exposure, but like fight network is where, is where they're getting their, their big stuff. But like, what, where do you, where do you see these other promotions? I mean, we can, we can already predict that there's going to be a quote unquote, bickering that's still going to happen between the two big ones but like do you well, see anyone I mean, else stepping up are we going to get our second coming of ecw or are we you know is is impact gonna gonna kick the door I back open and say we're still here i think it's likely uh i don't know if impact is going to kick the door open and say we're we're still here they can they're they're just as capable as anyone else of doing it uh but just for the sake of interest uh, let's say it's a brand new party you know i i would totally see another large corporation wanting to get in on wrestling i could see you know you know like like one of those big ones like amazon disney you know, the crazy ones that like own everything oh god i can I totally can see, see amazon so, pulling it yeah could you imagine amazon if they just had to like well we're shipping all their toys why don't we just go ahead and make our own toys based on these characters we do with all these great wrestlers. And then, like, cut out the middleman, boom. I mean, we're already making Lord of the Rings. <laughs> so, like, they're no longer just distributing it. Now they're just flat out making it as well. So, like, well, I could see a large corporation doing that as well. Uh, so, like, would that mean in five years? They're like, well, let's just sell WWE or AEW or let's buy ROH, you know? or impact or something like that and just come up with a brand new crazy product that you can put a billion dollars on. And I think that's super likely as far as like the indie level, uh, like the beyonds and the GCWs and all those awesome shows. If they can start working together, like old school promoters used to, where they actually call guys and say, Hey, this dude here is pretty great. You should use him. And it's like, oh, you're right. Let me let me bring him over. And then, like, they start working together. Just as simple as that. Not as like, you don't have to do any cross promotion. It's just like promoters, a lot of times, don't want to share who's good. And be like, yeah, this guy over here, quality mid card, dude gets everyone over. Dude's like, bumps like a machine. All he knows is lines. He's got a nice personality. You know that kind of stuff. Pitching myself here. <laughs> uh, and this, <laughs> and then like they can start like working together and you start seeing a lot more quality talent making money and those shows getting more and more reputation and respect. And that's, that's me. That's, that's a very narrow view. I'm sure there's far more stuff they have to worry about to like reach high levels. So that's just my thought. That's my rambling on for 10 minutes. All right. Well, a little bit more about you. Like if you had, if your if your dream came true and, the pro wrestling monster hunter became more than just a guy in the ring. Would you like something like El Santo with, with you know your own movies, or maybe maybe you get a comic book oh, series? Oh my goodness, dude! I want a line of children's books. I want to like. I need me an R. L. Stein to just write me decades worth of books, all centered around the pro wrestling monster hunter. I think that would be awesome. Like, like this, like this superhero who's in all these like weird, crazy situations, but he solves it through pro wrestling. <laughs> Zombie invasion? Don't worry about it. Headlocks work, baby. <laughs> you know, what I mean? <laughs> very, very simple. <laughs> Cinch him in, the head pops right off. Boom, problem solved. Boom, yeah, just stupid things like that. Like that would be what I want to do is these like children's books. Then you could do like TV shows and movies and things like that. But like the first thing, because somebody pitched it on Twitter, but this looks like a children's book like a character for a children's book and i was like yes yes that's exactly it yes 
Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, if that ever happens, I make a ton of money. I got to find that guy that tweeted that and give him some. <laughs> very, very cool. So children's books that that'd be interesting. Oh, it would. I, it would. Because if it, I mean, if it hits in twenty years when I'm super old and can barely walk because of wrestling, then I could be making like billions of dollars. It's got to happen. It's all they all fall through the Harry Potter loop, right? <laughs> right? Oh, damn it. Well, and, and and then you could just be the narrator. <laughs> now you would think our hero wouldn't <laughs> walk into that trap, but this guy's a monster hunter and he's dealt with some crazy things. I should know. He's a pro wrestling monster hunter. Oh my god. I can't <laughs> feel why are you still recording? Oh my back. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Okay, so speaking of painful backs and whatnot. What so far has been your least favorite finisher to take and what's been your favorite finisher to take? Like I am tired of getting kicked in the head. I, I I think we all are. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> at some point I'm like, hey man, you got a you got something else, you know? And I was like, no, 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 just do this, do that. And I was like, you know, I'm I'm getting real tired of doing that and still getting caught in the temple, you know. So uh, can we just pile drive me? Just pile drive me. At least that way. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yeah, well, I'm, I'm tired of I'm tired of taking those hits to the face from people. I mean, like obviously, you know, the quality of talent changes from show to show, and sometimes you meet the person an hour and a half before you actually go out there. So, you know, it's hard to do Cirque du Soleil when you met the guy an hour and a half before. But whatever, sometimes you get kicked in the face. Anyway, I'm tired of that move. And. uh I forgot the other question because all I could think about was the five concussions I've had. <laughs> Jesus. Well, yeah, getting I'm, kicked I'm in the head. I'm being facetious, but yeah, <laughs> get, getting kicked in the head. Like, uh, what what was a finisher like when you took it? Like, huh? And then you, if you saw it on video, you're like, oh, okay, yeah, I sold that. Ah, well. okay, okay, okay. Um, let me see. I never lose, so. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Uh, no, I took a uh, I took a shooting star leg drop, which was like a feather. That was awesome. I was like, I almost got up and kissed the guy. And I was like, oh, thank you. I am so sorry. I'm so sick of the crack kicked out of me. Uh, but a shooting star leg drop was, was awesome. That 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 was great. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Man, I've taken so many of Bray Wyatt's, and uh, I can't remember the other guy's name. Uh, or maybe I'm not allowed to say uh, Dave Chris build finisher where like they bend you over backwards and then you turn into the face plant like the STO or oh, the, the, the flatliner. Yeah, like yeah, those, yeah, pe- taking, those pendulum uh, flatliners. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah, uh, this is what I do for a living. I don't know their names. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, those I take those like all the time now and like dude, like butter, like butter. I'm not crippled the next day. There are times when I like, I'll take a move and like I'll wake up and Adrian's got to like shove me out of bed. I was like, oh, thanks, honey. You know, <laughs> just bending over like a Mr. Burns. <laughs> excellent. No, that's not an excellent. 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 I'll take that evil clown again next week. Just let me get a massage. <laughs> God. Um, out of the monster gimmicks that you've faced yeah you said you said you dealt with the killer clown like what are some others that you have faced and what would you like to like down the line so okay so i've i've wrestled uh, i want to wrestle dan Housen again i have wrestled with dan Housen before and i'm looking super forward to this match in october uh but that said i have been waiting for savage king because we were supposed to wrestle like a year ago and something just didn't happen and so like i'm really excited to wrestle him Let's say I wrestled the killer clown, Malico. That was a hoot. We went to his world through a magic mask portal thing, and I wrestled in his world, drowned him. He came back in my world, murdered my sister. <laughs> wow. I think I'm supposed to laugh at those lines. <laughs> it's ridiculous. He murdered my assistant. Then I wrestled the demon out of him, uh, and he became a regular guy. 
uh, Keegan, like he's a human being now. He's just a little, just a little crazy. Uh, but, but he's he's out there. That that's been a blast. Uh, in December, I'm scheduled to wrestle Mason X. And get this, get this. He he was formerly known as Sean Killian. He's an army vet, but he was paralyzed, and so they gave him a mask that would give him endurance and strength and the ability to walk and wrestle again, except the mask has now corrupted him. Uh, oh. They need someone They need someone to stop him. Well, who better than the pro wrestling monster hunter himself? Indeed. And so, so, indeed. And so like, those are, those are the characters that I have been introduced to in this short amount of time. It's wonderful. I, I love my life. Yeah. I, good God. Not not gonna <laughs> lie, little jealous. Would love to get back in there. Good, good, good. Come on, do it. Oh, actually, get in there and compete. You know, busting my ass training. They're like, oh, you're Let's you're good on a microphone. Like, but but I I'm trying to do it. <laughs> yeah, no, I've 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 seen a lot of the the same type of motivational stuff from from fellow guys on the road. Like, yeah, this is gonna be the year. I'm. I've been holding myself back and like, thankfully it's not been a copy and paste kind of thing, but I'm, I was like, what is in the water that is making all these people legitimately step up? Like what, what's astronomical I think phase happened? I, well, I think the artists have stepped up. Like, I, it's, you know, it's, uh, I don't, Dave Chappelle may have been referring to somebody, but when I watched this stand up during the quarantine, the last, in the pandemic for the last two years, uh, he said, like, in times of the trial and tribulation, the artists stand up. And, like, you can deny it all you want to your blue in the face, but wrestlers are athletes and artists. And so they are stepping up right now. They're like, screw it. I'm not stopping. I'm not going to quit. And I'm going to try harder and harder. And that's what you're seeing nowadays. Now they're like, I'm going to take this opportunity. So that's what I, that's what I think it is. I, that's what I, I think. I think people are stepping up now just because of that. Just because they're like, screw it. I want to be the best now. I'm not waiting anymore. Well, cool. Well, that just makes me want to see a match between you and Pluto Mars even more like a nice cinematic <laughs> leading into in the middle of the ring an Area 51 street fight with exploding <laughs> lightsabers and yeah yes, <laughs> yes. just put all Don't the video game elements too. Gotta get... <laughs> just put all the video game elements in there you and a Martian do it me <laughs> hey you I mean what? sometimes they're monstrous I mean isn't Chris Statlander isn't she an alien I mean it, it writes itself yeah. It writes itself. <laughs> I'll wrestle Chris Statlin. I'll find an alien. <laughs> yeah, you, you try to communicate with him. You're doing the Mars attacks lingo, and it just insults him. <laughs> like, what? do you speak Wookiee? <laughs> <laughs> All the promos have to be subtitled. <laughs> Fans would love it. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's not too bad on the mic, as long as it's just gibberish. <laughs> <laughs> god oh god so children's books I just want to segue back to that children's books is the next step for the monster hunter after he's after he's it's succeeded the boxcar children meet the pro wrestling monster hunter something like that yeah, oh, I want... god. oh god <laughs> something tells me someone's on Wattpad right now hmm I wonder. Good, good. <laughs> if it's good, just give me a cut. Come on. <laughs> no. <laughs> I can't. I can't afford. Oh but my. I don't. Anyway. Oh my god. Oh. I would like. Could you imagine just like a series of like Harry Potter esque or that preteen books with my stupid face on it, just like <laughs> making like dumb eyebrow lift. I was like, yes. <laughs> New York Times bestseller. I fought, I fought the evil Godzilla to a Broadway straw. 
<laughs> in Madison Square Garden. <laughs> because of course. Because of course. Yeah, Godzilla is a politic and jerk. <laughs> He's not going to do the job. <laughs> <laughs> that'll be that'll be the sequel. That'll be the next book. As, as we talk about that, as as I you know beat the crap out of King Kong to get back over. <laughs> <laughs> gotta get your heat in somehow. <laughs> gotta, gotta get my heat in. <laughs> you, you you retired King Kong yeah. instead of Godzilla, and he's livid. <laughs> right. <laughs> Saturday morning TV, the the lesser program. I'll just be wrestling Annabelle. <laughs> oh god <laughs> now that oh god that that was something i i always found amusing in japan when the, when you get top tier wrestlers like kota Ibushi and kenny omega you're like yeah you're wrestling a blow-up doll tonight i'm doing what mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah you're putting over a blow-up doll mm -hmm. once again i'm doing what <laughs> if i could only get that dream of like going in there <laughs> fighting Annabelle. Oh, you're wrestling you're wrestling this porcelain doll. I would I would cry in joy because I wouldn't be shoved in a match with twelve other cruiserweights. <laughs> I would be able to just wrestle that doll. Like I, <laughs> I, I have room to move. I can I can sell this arm bar. Nice. Oh my god. There's not a guy diving in the air with a hurricane run at the second I turn around. <laughs> Like, okay, we're gonna you dive through this. Move? Oh my god. <laughs> we're gonna dive through this. Why? Um, because it's there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. No, like if I walk if I walked in and <laughs> like Palmer, you're wrestling a blow up doll, I was like, How much time do I have? <laughs> like, how much time do you want? I want sixty minutes. I want sixty minutes to wrestle that. I'll lock in a stupid figure four for ten minutes at a time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if they boo. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> Ask for a refund. Ask for it. I'm the opener. Just need my politics for this. <laughs> <laughs> it, would, it would have to be something like that, just like it's so ridiculous. It's like, yeah, now this is going to be about me. Now this is all about me. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Oh God! Oh, <laughs> yes. Thank you for the. You 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 got me misting, dude. You actually got me misting there. <laughs> Hell yeah! Yes. My next foray, I'll just do stand up comedy while wrestling. <laughs> I'll try to get really good at it. I mean, I I had the crazy idea of actually doing the talk show host thing, but the concept instead yeah. of having a a talk show bit was. I start the match off with my opening monologue and call my opponent out as my guest. And, oh, okay. And then whether... Yeah, like, I, a, like, a, like a Leno type. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, Leno, may, maybe Johnny Carson because I'm gray in the head, so... You know, right. I, I, well, I, I mean, Leno, Leno's no spring chicken either. I well, yeah, yeah, I know, but like we, we grew up with Carson Gray. We got to see Leno evolve or digivolve yeah. into his next step. Oh, relax, sir. Relax. I'm still a Jimmy Fallon baby. All right. <laughs> just, that's not true at all, but I'm going to say it. Is. Yeah, like you should do that. Go ahead and try it. I mean, why not? Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, my first instinct was just do a Bill Burr pro wrestler who's just constantly crapping on women's wrestling. <laughs> just stick a bit of touching. <laughs> but, like, see, see, honestly, that, my household. <laughs> honestly, that's got to, that would have been like the next step. With Andy Kaufman, right. if he if he had if he had lived long enough, I think that would have been the next step. It's not, it's not that he's no longer oh, just yeah. wrestling women. It's he sees women's wrestling, goes that route, and his manager could have been like a Sam Kinison type character. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like could you could you imagine like he just opened the show as promo and was like, uh, yeah, I uh I think these uh women's wrestlers are overpaid. I'm gonna say it. I don't think they do. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> just... <running pick. laughs> Just wow. And they just come out and they just kick your ass all over the bill. <laughs> Jazz just comes out of retirement. Like she's in Florida, yeah. but she still materializes, beats the shit out of him for five yeah. minutes and then like, leaves. And like that's the surprise every every show is that character. Like like it would get it would get canceled immediately. Like you can't you, you can't say that concept. 
too many too many uh, people that buy things would be upset. And so, <laughs> I, so I like, mean, if you could, I like, mean, un- be great un- meat. Un- unless that was the adjective that you put for him was you know, like canceled Kenny Collins. Oh yeah, like have we gotten to that point in society that we can uh, we can sell that kind of stuff? I don't. I, don't I mean, know. I mean, we've got I'd Joe say, Gacy. I stay away from that kind of stuff. We've I got Joe Gacy here, popping yeah, the whole yeah. safe space thing. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, I, I heard I heard something about that had uh, had happened, but I I didn't follow it. Yeah. Um. The first time he cut a promo and people uh, actually almost got violent. Like apparently a couple of oh. them got up out of their chairs and thought about throwing them or. Or at least storming off angrily, yeah. And and oh, it's not, and it's That's not like he. What well, I I watched it before they took it down. I was like that. That's that's basic heat. He's pl- he's playing up to the type of audience we have. Oh. So um, like I like I don't I, I don't see it. yeah I don't see why this guy needs to be condemned because also in these major leagues, nine times out of ten, when you first get exposure, that's not your gimmick. Unless you want to do something with it. Yeah. 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 That's true. Like, I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious uh, what was said and, and what was so controversial. I'll uh, have to it, check that out. But, like... I, I, I think they thought it was condescending. Like, I... Like oh oh you're just... Okay. You're just parroting what, what happens and you're parroting and parroting... Parroting and parodying... What's on message boards and all that? I'm like, well, yeah. It's, well, you, if you don't like the parody, well, it seems like you complain to the actual source, not the parody. Yeah. It's not like it was an original thought or idea. But, I mean, whatever. Yeah, yeah. It's whatever. People people get mad. That's the nature of the business. That's life. You make a little money off of it. Hopefully no one gets hurt in the process. But, I mean, if you're supposed to be a heel, then, yeah, you did your job if you upset people. <laughs> True, true, but do it. I mean, it's a, it's a it's a fine line to walk. I know I've fallen on both sides of it. Oh, yeah. Of hey, you went too you went too far. You know, people. This is people don't want to enjoy that kind of storytelling. You know, and that's you know, you're not going to be seen. I mean, if they get away with it because people are tuning in and they're you know they're spending money because they're that angry. It's like, cool, oh, but if they'd rather call the manager and say they don't want to watch it and get a refund, then you got you can't do it. So. Yeah. That's as simple as that. It's like, okay, when you cut this promo, don't use the phrase cross-eyed, okay? Just don't use cross-eyed here, all right? Oh. <laughs> it's oh, like, no, that's all I can think of. <laughs> <laughs> you can say shit, fuck, damn, god damn it. <laughs> Hail Satan, just don't say cross-eyed, all right? Oh, well, we can swear? Fantastic. Thank you for telling me now. It's been like 35 minutes, and I've been holding in all these swear words. I've had a hard C lined up just waiting to dunk it. <laughs> I, I i think we beat the algorithm now so so i think we're all right <laughs> okay oh good i'm gonna get in so much trouble for this anyway. <laughs> somebody's gonna get mad at me oh well i gotta thank you again for coming on ladies and gentlemen course matthew palmer in the hot seat this evening you can check him out that's me <laughs> no, the pro wrestling monster hunter matthew palmer you can check him out at reality of wrestling on the 9th of october yes and i will put his other dates in the description go check him out seriously go check him out go check out his old material as well I can, not I, all of it i can't Don't wait to see where he it. goes from here but until next time, I'm Ian Torch Torchetti. That was Matthew Palmer, the pro wrestling monster hunter, and the hot seat. Good evening. Is burnt out. <laughs>